Well, President Emirat, thank you very much for the introduction. And I really, really appreciate being here today in, in your presence. You are doing an absolutely remarkable job. You know, as Washingtonians, we are very fortunate. We're fortunate to have two major research universities that are in very much close collaboration in all that we do. Clearly, the initiative centered around early, early learning is one of those examples. You know, today's work is very momentous. It's momentous in several occasions, um, not the least of which I was actually born on, on Leap Day. And so today is my birthday. And so to this foundation, thank you for sharing with me a marvelous birthday. Uh, about 13. That's why I constantly seek your advice, Mr. President. Um, I'm, I'm working on it. A little bit over a decade ago, I had the privilege and opportunity of serving the state of Washington as an executive official at Eastern Washington University. Mike Lowry was a governor at the time, and he asked that I serve as the executive director of the Washington State Higher Education Coordinating Board. And it was during that time that we were developing a very comprehensive strategy for learning for our students within our state. We understood in very keen and precise ways that it was much more than the engagement of our colleges and universities, while it's a fine class of institutions indeed, but it was about the nature of the relationship. Terry and I talked constantly about those issues, as she knows very well, of making sure that we focus on the continuum of learning, if you will. You know, sometimes in education, we do too much of what I refer to as casting blame. That is, if you were to talk to university professors, they would talk about the engagement of their students, and they really wish that the community colleges were stronger, and they really wish that the K-12 system was stronger. And if you talk to um, those high school teachers, they would say, well, you know, we can do a much better job if our middle schools were stronger. And if you talk to them, well, you can do a much better job if our elementary schools were stronger. The truth of the matter is about the continuum of learning. It's about the continuum of education. And that's what this foundation has really focused on. It's focused on excellence. And we've made the decision that we must begin early, early in the learning equation. And so those of you in this audience understand that in very keen and precise ways. I will commit to you that Washington State University, in partnership with you and the organizations that you represent, will do all that we possibly can to make sure that our youngsters are having the best opportunities imaginable. You see, the real universities of the day are committed deeply to improving the quality of life. The University of Washington does it every day, and Washington State University does it as well. We do it primarily through our extension and outreach operations. You see, it was in 1914, the Smith-Lever Act required that institutions, land-grant institutions, go out and extend best practices to the communities that they serve. And so we really understand that as a university. We're going to continue a very robust campaign associated with doing exactly that. You see, in addition to the campus that we have in Pullman, we also have campuses in Spokane and the Tri-Cities and in Vancouver. And those campuses will be very much community-led and community-driven. We have engaged in a partnership with the city of Spokane to make sure that we infuse best practices early on. We are doing the same thing in the Tri-Cities with the help of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation we received a grant of almost a million dollars to help with literacy of members of our Hispanic and Chicano communities. And that's an important step for us as an institution. And if I were to focus on Vancouver, we've engaged in a partnership with the McClaskey Foundation to do exactly that in Vancouver. You see, the only way that we're going to be able to make a significant difference in this very complicated issue is to start early, to start often, and to engage in absolute and complete collaborative efforts. It is indeed all about collaboration. You see, as individuals, we can make a huge imprint on the life of a single youngster. But if we work together, we can make an impact on the millions of youngsters that we have throughout this country, and especially those young people here in the state of Washington. 
We have the very good fortune of having a governor who understands these issues very well. She announced very early on an initiative focused on early learning, and we're con continuing to actualize the commitment that the governor has made. It is indeed the right thing to do. And as many of you have heard me say on any number of occasions, Washington State University, in full and complete partnership with Washingtonians, will do everything that we can to improve the quality of life. James Hickman, who is the winner of the 2007 Nobel Peace Prize in economics, had the opportunity in November to come to Washington State University in Pullman. And he talked about many issues. And in the midst of his conversation, he shared with us the fact that for every dollar that individuals expend between the ages of one and five, it saves our state and it saves our nation $17 over the long run. You see, the more educated our population can be, the greater their contributions are to society. And we have an obligation and a responsibility to do everything that we can. So Marlene and Kenny, thank you very, very much for having me here. But more importantly, thank you very much for your commitment to those young people. You see, they represent our future. They are indeed our lifeblood. And we must and should do everything that we can in full and complete partnership. Universities do a lot of things exceedingly well, and research is one of those areas. President Emerin and I have talked about this, and we wanted to state publicly this afternoon that over the next several months, we will begin the planning efforts to host in the fall of next year, by invitation only, a national summit bringing in the best educational and civic leaders imaginable to talk about best practices and how we might be able to infuse that into our society and across our country. It is indeed the nature of the investment that you've made in the University of Washington and in Washington State University. We thank you very much for your commitment we thank you for your intellect, your largesse, but more importantly, we thank you for embracing this bold and important initiative. We are better as a society as a consequence. This is absolutely a fabulous occasion, and thank you very much for celebrating my birthday with me.